In this video, I will talk about the sparkline function that exists in Google Sheet. If you don't practice this, you'll forget it. So why don't you download the practice file from the description given below. Now, in case you have 12 months data and their numbers, and you want to show the trend inside a cell, we can type in equal to sparkline or just write spark and press the tab key. Next, we choose the data. In its simplest form, we just close the brackets at this point and press enter. If the date changes, so will the chart trend. Now, instead of line chart, you would want a column chart. So we type in the same function again. We choose the range of the data for one row. Next, we put a comma. And then I will take cues from here. So I open the curly brackets. Next, in a pair of double quotes, I type in chart type. Close the double quotes, put a comma, because this parameter is yet to be defined. So in double quotes, I put in column. I close the double quotes, and then closing the remaining relevant brackets. I press enter. Wonderful. Now in the same chart, if you want to give a high color and low color, let me show you how this is done. Let me copy paste this down, double click on the formula. Now remember, this parameter once finished, I need to add one more parameter. And therefore, I need to add not a comma, but a semicolon. Now, in double quotes, I type in high color, close the double quotes, comma, not semicolon, because this parameter is yet to be defined. So I put in a pair of double quotes, a color called orange. Next, I put a semicolon to close this pair. Again, I type in a pair of double quotes, low color, close the double quotes, comma, and not semicolon, because this parameter is yet to be defined. And then double quotes, typing in red, double quotes closed. And let's see, after pressing enter, we get the same answer. Yes, we do. If you like this trick, why don't you check out our entire library? Click on the link in the description below to get full access. I've given for your reference the formula inside these cells. They don't work in Microsoft Excel, but they do in Google Sheets. Let me show you more variations. Spark Line 2. Now, what you saw was line and column chart in a single cell. But when you have a given set of numbers, let's say score or sales, and you want to show the relative strength using horizontal bar chart, how would you proceed? Let me show you on my screen. I type in equal to sparkline, just like last time. I choose that single cell, comma, open up a curly brackets, typing in chart type, comma, and then within pair of double quotes, I type in bar. And if I close the brackets here itself and press enter and copy paste to the remaining three cells, all the width will be the same. So I need to set a maximum to get the appropriate output. Therefore, I go back, put a semicolon so that I can start with a fresh parameter, type in max, double quotation, and then I need to put in the value, let's say 100 and enter. So out of 100, the scores are mapped. And this is what we get. Just in case you want to add a max function in place of 100, even that is fine. Now to the above formula. If you simply add one more parameter, starting color one is equal to gray. You will get this answer where the chart is marked in gray color. Now. If you wish to compare the ratio between two numbers, then you need to define two color sets. Let's write the formula quickly. Sparkline. This time we choose both the cells. That's one major difference, and therefore followed by the pair of curly brackets. And within that, we will define multiple parameters. Just to avoid repetition, I'm referring to the cell on the left-hand side wherein the parameter consists of color one orange, color to gray. Now, even if you choose more than two variables in the formula, 
there cannot be more than two colors. So, why don't you try this chart out? In the third and the quick one, I'll show you. In case you want a standing column chart, one for every cell. Now, this is slightly lengthy, but let me help you understand the meaning and the way the formula is written. Sparkline, I hope this part is clear to you. It's a column chart. Next, for this specific chart, you're using minimum as zero, maximum as a value, which is either 300 or maximum of these values, whichever is higher. And then you can also define the color with this hex code. You can find this easily on the internet. This is often used as a visualization where there are lesser set of numbers, either your actual and budget, actual versus target, or let's say four quarters number. Why don't you practice this formula in here and see how it works? Remember, most of the time people make mistake in the syntax. So be careful about the comma and the semicolon. When you're in the same parameter, you are using comma. But once the parameter finishes off, then you start the next parameter with a semicolon. Notice the differences. Here we go. So I hope you use this in your dashboards for quick analysis.